storms of atmospheres, then this cruel descent from a hundred years of dream into the starkness of the capsule bed, to a cool still day suspended in cool in the tombs of sleep. The nagging choirs of memory, the lights of tube and wires whirling from their flesh to machinery, are without the such midwifery is just one function of the leader here, floating in a circle of fluid dark that clears and curious space away from it. While man stared upon the trauma of despair, attentive to the tapes assuring him this was reality, however grim our journey's end. The landing itself was nothing. We just touched upon a shelf of rock selected by the automobile and left the galaxy of dreams behind. The awakening took us days to realize. Adjusting to the newness of our lives, we stayed inside, but were in simple tasks, and hardly speaking, faces set like masks. Until the time came round for us to set the first feet on this world, to get our samples and erect the instruments. A barren planet, but to all intents, another Eden opening its gates for this chosen few that outslept the fates. Anonymous, identical in our suits, we entered the airlock. My weighted boots would be the first to touch this unknown stone. I led some distance, then I felt alone. So I turned and saw that the others were standing still. I radioed to make them stir, but got no answer, so I waved my arm. But they still stood as though a stoning charm had taken hold. I made my slow way back, and found each man was frozen in his track. I hammered my gloved fist on visor plate, and pulled at pressure padded arms. A state of utter trance had overtaken all my men. My mouth felt dry my fingers stiff, and then... position, 
escaping on trades of ink into maps. I can see the flashing of her eyes at the edge of my sight, like the knife glint glances that stab from doorways in the red light districts of any port.
stunned explorers of Medusa stole for time not entered in their log, before they dared the petrific fog that holds them still in its timeless form. A nectarial time. like a clock as easily as sounding strings to recite their charm, and your most exquisite petals melt icily in my palm. To hold to the flow of moments past, as carefully as I would my last few seconds left on earth, would that be crying? Or if I picked you just to see you turn, to crystal cloud in my eyes and learn how man is angel on his way from sun. Holding off impatience is the ultimate love for last and before. Now it is time to play, to take the shortcut to the trunk, where swings hang on their scaffold frame, like rows of empty perches in a cage. And bird-like, with his arms upraised, he holds for a moment the launching stage, then goes, feet first, upwards, is poised for a long split second among the leaves and clouds, then falling from the sky, flies backwards, and the playground's asphalt heaves beneath him like a switched back sea. It rocks the heavens, this cranking machine, an engine to swing a planet through its axis, made simply of a chain and wood for the child to manage.
Lexington they are going to burn, a hoard of books for charity. From these towering volumes the flames will churn, as light and winter's dark they spurn and threaten with their clarity.
dance steps. The music plays horizon and sky, while your partner stands erect, extending branches in all directions. Then you take up your position, drifting above her like a cloud. When the music plays warm air, you rise, condense in the coldness and turn to rain. With this, your partner starts to put up leaves. When the leaves are your head looks down and your body descends. thanks. Amid the folding of all greenness left, I give my thanks wholeheartedly for life, for this vermilion tapestry, warp and weft of the blood veins fabric. Its threads are rife, conspicuous easy meat for knife or microbe and the many ills that kill, and yet are stubborn and abundant still.
give my thanks wholeheartedly for life, for this vermilion tapestry, warp and weft of the blood veins fabric. Its threads are rife, conspicuous easy meat for knife or microbe and the many ills that kill, and yet are stubborn and abundant still, and yet are stubborn and abundant still. There wasn't much to you at all. A pair of earphones and a dial to twiddle. But you beat the six gun and the saddle. You were futuristic as Colonel Bear. And so was I in your Bakelite phones. Tuned in to the insect lecture of Morse. Always a 
Its laws of the alien force of crackling statics interference zones. And at night I could hear weird language drone with your dark conches pressed against my ears and dream there were voices among the stars. The secret of knowing was mine alone. With your earth antenna, the binding air, you traced the future of your transistors. Oracular coil, you were the cat's whispers till I heard the super heterodyne's blare. The sky is coming in through the roof. The melted sun is dripping its golden oils on our clean white cloth. Aeroplanes like dead flies are floating in our soup. There is no waiter to complain to. Our dining table is cluttered up with scraps of cloud and Dutchman's trousers. At night, the stars descend like flakes of dandruff around my head. While I am truly to work with the perfect cigarette, I have to dodge the tumbling planets. We have placed a bucket strategically to catch the moon. Our carpet is ruined by the yoke of broken galaxies and trodden zeppelins. This morning, while waiting yet again for the man to come and fix the hole. Thank you.
naked and transparent man gives thanks. Come on, what is this? A broom cupboard? This is a joke, is it? All right, very funny. So I've been asleep. Yes, highly amusing. Now open up, will you please? I could suffocate in here now. How the hell did I get in here anyway? <laughs> My God, what a smell. That's not me, is it? Oh, God, come on. There must be somebody there. Come on, for Christ's sake. This is not funny anymore. This really isn't. Come on, now let me out. I know you're out there. Come on. I'll break the door down, I'll smash it right off its hinges if you don't unlock it and stop fooling around. Is anyone there? There is someone there, isn't there? Come on, I know there's someone there. I heard something creak just then. I heard a chair creaking. There's someone there, isn't there? Look, I heard you. I know you're there. I heard you then. 
I know there's someone there. I know there is. There is, isn't there? Isn't there? There is. There must be. Surely. Surely there's someone. Isn't there? Isn't there? Isn't there anyone there? There must be. There must be someone. Surely. How do they get in a broom cupboard anyway? Was it a party or something? I don't remember a party. I don't go to parties. I never go to parties. I hate parties. I feel absolutely bloody dreadful. My head feels like, feels like I've had too much to drink. I wouldn't mind so much if I had, but I don't drink even. I never drink. Well, not this much anyway. Occasional aperitif after dinner, brandy perhaps, beer with an old friend or on a hot day, wine and cheese maybe on a special occasion. Nothing like this. I never drink myself into a state like this. Get myself locked in a cupboard by some prankster or other. I've never got myself in a state like that. My bloody head feels like drugs. That's what it is. Drugs. I've been bloody drugged. I've been bloody sodding well drugged. Drugged. Drugged up. Doped. That's what I've been. Doped. I've been bloody doped. Is anyone listening out there? Is the person or persons who slipped me a what do you call it? A Mickey Finn? That's it. A Mickey. Is the person who slipped me a Mickey Finn out there listening, eh? Well, if you are out there listening and sniggering to yourselves, I've got something to say to you. Something you're not going to like very much. Whoever you are, if you're listening, I hope you realize the enormity of what you've done. You've committed assault, you know. An assault. A serious, very serious assault. You probably didn't realize that at the time you slipped me whatever it was you slipped me, and for whatever reason, but ignorance of the law is no excuse. They don't stand for ignorance of the law in court, you know. In fact, some judges won't stand for ignorance of any kind. You can get six months just for sounding like a lout in some courts, just for looking like a lout. Yes, louts. Louts, I said. Did you hear me? Lout. You must be a lout or louts to have done a thing like this. Louts, okay? Louts, I'm calling you. Did you hear that? Can you hear me? I'm calling you bloody louts. Say something for God's sake. Say something. Come on, say something, will you? Come on, let me out, please, someone. I'm not dead, I'm alive. Let me out, I'm alive. Please, for Christ's sake, I'm still alive. I'm not... No, of course not. It was very stupid of me. Unnecessary man to panic there. They don't stand coffins up, right, do they? Do they? No, of course they don't. Not with bodies in them, they don't. You can hardly be laid to rest in a seated position. That would be sitting up to rest. They have to lay you out, don't they? Not sit you up. Janie? You wouldn't do a thing like this to me, would you? No, that's right, you wouldn't. Janie, if it is you, and you can hear me, I want you to know that, well, this isn't easy, huh? Janie, I... oh, God, what's the use? I know it isn't you. I know you're far too well balanced to get involved in this sort of prank. But, well, if there was a way you could hear me, maybe this lot are taping me. You never know. Perhaps they're taping every word. I'd just like you to know that if anyone is listening to this or taping me or whatever, I'd like my wife Janie to know that I, or if anything happens to me, I don't know what plans you lot have got for me, do I? I mean, you might be, I don't know, what the hell you might do. Anyone who do anything as monstrous as this, as outrageous as to nail someone up in a sodding box. Why? 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 Me? Oh, please. No one's coming, are they? No one's there. I don't like it in here. I don't like it. I just don't understand it. I just don't understand. I just don't understand it.
stuff was that? There was a match being struck. A match? So there is someone there. What are you doing? What are you doing lighting matches? That could be dangerous. This box is... No. No, you, you wouldn't. You, you wouldn't. I can feel it. Getting hotter. What's that? Crackling sound. Burning? I can smell burning. <laughs> let me out of here, please. For God's sake, let me out of here. Out. Please let me out. Smoke. I can definitely smell smoke. Hang on, there's a, there's a pipe. Someone's smoking a pipe out there. No. There's a cigarette, that is. A cheap one, that. A cheap cigarette, one of those miniature tipped ones. I don't suppose I could have... could have one, could I? I, I could do with a cigarette. You, you must know what it's like being a smoker. I haven't had a bag for I don't know how long. If you just let me out, you could blindfold me, and after I'd smoked it, I'd get back in again without any trouble. Promise. Come on. Just let me out for a minute, just for a smoke. We smokers have got to stick together these days. We're a dying breed, according to the medical profession. One in three, that's all that's left of us. It used to be the statistics for homosexuals, didn't it? One in three. Probably gone up by now. Not that I hold anything against homosexuals, by the way, in case you happen to be one yourself. Everyone to his own, I say. No, I'm not saying you are one, just that I don't care one way or the other. I just want to smoke, that's all. Or anything you like, at all, if you just let me out for a bit. Smoke, or, or anything, I don't mind, one way or the other, just let me out, please. Janie? That's not you there, is it? Of it's no one. That's who's there, no one. No smoke, nothing. Just my, just noises, random sounds. I wonder if there is a tape running there. If there is, and they've got all that lot down now, haven't they? Bit really embarrassing, understandable though, under the circus, slight loss of composure there. I'd be surprised if many. But yeah, I'll keep them my cool quite well. As I was saying, I'm not involved in anything political. I've never been involved in anything criminal. Parking fine or two? Oh yes, and one juvenile offence. A long time ago. I don't owe anyone any money, apart from the bank. And that's only temporary, once a month, going into the red. My, my period, I call it. Quite witty, that, if you think about it. So it's obvious, really, isn't it? There's been a slight mistake. Mistake in identity. Easily done. Now, if you just simply get me out of here, I'll just... I don't even have to see your faces, do I? I don't want to know who you are. And I want to say, I won't say anything to the police or, or anyone about this. Just forget the whole thing. I mean, it's obvious that you've gone to a lot of trouble to pull this thing off. Quite a neat operation, really. I've no idea how you managed to do it, actually. Pretty clever stuff, all told. You just got the wrong person, that's all. Computer error, most likely. What of it about these days? Only needs one. All that stuff about the tape recorder. I knew you were there all the time, isn't it? I knew you were there all the time. I knew it. There are two of you now, isn't there? You thought you had me fooled. Well, I had you fooled, all right. All that stuff about a tape recorder. I knew you were there all the time listening, and I heard you as well. Yes, you were there. I heard you there. I heard you come in. Well, don't look so surprised. I told you I used to work in recording, didn't I? I knew all about sound, directional and otherwise. Oh, yes, I had you fooled, all right, didn't I, eh? I said I had you fooled, didn't I? Are you there? Are you still there? Either of you? Say something, then, will you? What's the point of keeping up this pretense when we both know, when all three of us know? Are you still there? Anyone?
Shall I tell you how I know that that's keys there, not coins? Could be coins, couldn't it? Needn't be keys. Shall I tell you how I know, shall I? Hmm? Because I can see you. That surprised you, didn't it? I've been having you on, you see. All that stuff about tape recorders, I knew you were there all the time. I've been watching you. You see, I found this safety pin behind my lapel. My wife placed it out with Mark, so I used it to make a little hole with. Yes, I've been watching you the whole time. So what are you going to do about it, eh? Well, for a start, I suggest you get me out of here pronto so we can discuss this matter. The longer you leave me cooped up in here, the worse it's going to be for you at identification time, you know? What does that busting sound like a hero, by the way? I couldn't see which one of you was making it. You must have been in my blind spot. It's only a very tiny hole. It's naturally sounded like paper being muscled. What's all that about? Paper being screwed up. What are you screwing paper up for? What's that smell? Petrol. That's petrol, that is. It is petrol. Petrol. Now. Now, please that. Please don't do that. Please. I can't see you, really. There isn't a hole. I made up the hole. I can't see you. I can't see anything. Honestly, I can't see a thing in here. Please don't. I haven't seen you at all. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not that. Not that. Please, not that. No. I lied. I, I, I wouldn't be able to identify you. I haven't been even heard your voices, have I? Look, there's no need for this. This is there. Um, I mean, you don't have to do this. That, please. There, you see? I knew someone would come. I knew someone would find out. You can't get away with this sort of thing. Someone's bound to find out what you're up to if you try this sort of cable. It's probably the police out there now. Might even be Janie with some of her friends. I wouldn't laugh about that if I were you. Either. They happen to be very heavy feminists. I let them in before they break the door down. It'll be worse for you if you don't. Go on. Go and let them in. Who's still there? Well, let them in. For Christ's sake, you're going to have to let them in sooner or later. I'd give myself something after you. I you still got the chance. I'll go better. We'll go much better. I might even put a good word in for you myself if you let them in now. Well, go on, then. And just stand there, the pair of you. Let them in. Let them in.
take sacrifice of ears with a mouth of lingual cunning. Ejaculate, he chanted in tongues of surge and flame. He yelled the old the orthiasmic atoms canticle. Sacrifice, he squeaked the cataclysmic rise of gravity. He split the drum skin dungeon of silence and set it with a mouth demon prisoner free. Truth of lingual be he sang the body ill cunning tree. Ejaculating of surgeon he yelled the orgasm like Adam's canticle he squeaked the cataclysmic cries of gravity he split the drum skin dungeon of silence and set its demon prisoner truly he the body electric
fabulous statues that speak an everlasting cascading word, that declaim an endless torrent of parabolic utterance, that spout without regard, are blind and deaf and ever in mid speaking. White circular lines along the streets that I walk alone. White circular lines along the streets that I walk alone. In the Our lives cross boundaries, cross boundaries like halos of spectral dust in a video scene. Our lives Our cross lives boundaries, cross boundaries, like halos, are like halos of the spectral dust in a vivid dream. In a vivid dream. <laughs> Once the feeding stops, we 
We were birds once, we marvel at our stolen colours, we see our once wide wings, our tiny rainbow opulences. We hold ourselves in our world of hands and feed our futures. Stock is food and water, white UK means nothing to a bird, millennial fever is a human disease, and we are birds who flip and love ourselves with smiling ecstasies. As night and winter's dark they spurn and threaten with their clarity. The fire's fierce theatre draws herds of folk, all willing to be hypnotized. Anemones of flame and reefs of smoke, enchanters so we gladly choke to see the dark so well disguised. Oh look, the Bible's all on fire, we cheered at its catching, oh watch it flare. It was like this of old when witches reared against the stake. We stood and peered at such Aladdin caves of air. These mushrooming billows of coral form the fevered brain of fire on high, whose dream of destroying the world by storm will in the ashes still be warm long after its emotions die. And at night I could hear weird language drone with your dark conches pressed against my ears and dream there were voices among the stars. The secret of knowing was mine alone.